Defense and Space News TV report. The Indian Super Sukhoi program is an upgrade package to existing fleet of Su-30 MKI. It is meant as a response to China's $2 billion contract with Russia in 2015 for the acquisition of 24 Su-35 fighters, also dubbed Super Flanker and the Last Flanker by Western media, and procurement of the J-20 and J-31 fifth generation stealth fighters. The upgrade package will replace the N-011M bars with a new Acer radar, new L to develop TCM devices and the AL-31 FP engines will be replaced by a new power plant with longer lifespan and super cruise capability. Unlike other hybrid PASA radar systems, the N-011M doesn't use the same receiver amplifier for each TRM module, rather it has separate systems like an ASA. But in the case of signal transmission, it uses a single oscillator of a fixed frequency. The new radar will have an active electronically scanned array antenna with a number of transmit and receive modules which may number up to 1500. It will have longer effective range in low probability of intercept LPI, and greater frequency agility, which is the ability of a radar system to quickly shift operating frequency to account for atmospheric effects, jamming, mutual interference with friendly sources, or to make it more difficult to locate the radar broadcaster through radio direction finding LPI. Not enough is known all about the radar's average and peak power output envelope, which determines maximum operating range. The N011MZ GSP27 transmitter with a single 7 kW peak power rated Chelmock Travel Wave Tube TWT, is replaced in the N035 Urbic with a pair of 10 kW peak power rated Chelmock tubes coupled to provide a total peak power rating of 20 kW, giving the Su-35 the greatest radar range. The Su-35 includes a rear-facing N0125 control radar which is a great tactical advantage but the Su-30's tail pod which houses a pair of drogue chutes, is not designed to house a similar device. The power plant upgrade will likely give the Super Sukhoi improved maneuverability, kinetic performance, range and aircraft availability rate. The main differences between it and the Chinese Su-35 however will be lack of stealth enhancement and reduced structural weight. The Su-35 uses a greater percent of composite alloy and carbon fiber in the internal structure. The air brake is replaced by outward deflection of the rudders while yaw is controlled by vectoring thrust and the weight of the urbice is also significantly lighter than the bars, yielding an empty weight of 15,000 kg compared to the Su-30's 17,700 kg, a nearly 3 ton difference. The external skin of the Su-35 is mostly made of composites. Additionally, the Su-35's engine compressor face, air intake walls and cockpit canopy is treated with ferromagnetic radar absorbent material. Not the case with the Su-30 MK and a similar upgrade will be expensive. The upgraded Su-30 MK is unlikely to equate to the Su-35's overall capabilities but should be analogous to upgraded Su-30 SM-1 which features data link networking, improved radio communication and expanded range of precision munitions like the KH-59 MK-2 cruise missile. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe and stay with us.